What's up, people? Happy Monday. Oh, boy, you had a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, The daytime Emmys last night, it, I don't know if, for those who don't know, it came on last night on the Pop Network, which used to be uh the TV Guide Network. Uh, it came on about 8 o'clock. Uh, let me just say congratulations to Chad Duell um, for his... He, let me tell you something, Chad Duel, he deserved that fucking Emmy. He busted his ass these last five years on this show, and he really deserved that Emmy. So, congratulations to him. Um, congratulations to all the winners. I didn't agree with most of those winners. Um, b, &B for best writing team, I did not agree with that. Um, b, b let me tell you something, Bold and the Beautiful is garbage. I'm sorry, but they write the same storylines over and over. How many times are we going to see Brooke Logan running after guy, 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 guy? It's like she goes from this guy to this guy to this guy. Same storyline, same love triangle. Like it's so boring. It's so, it's so 1987. Like just do something different. It's old and she's old, too old to be doing the same storyline. Get her something else. Um... I really felt like GH should have won best writing because this year, the only problem I have with General Hospital's writing team is it takes too long. I think Ron is not that horrible as a writer, but I feel like he takes things too long. Like it does not take a whole year for a storyline to be over. Like seriously, that's just dragging it out. And that's when people stop to care about the storyline. So it's like, you know, he just needs to speed it up more. You know what I mean? A storyline should only last half a year, maybe less. You know, five months, four months, and move on. You know what I mean? Not the same shit for a whole year. When you go into a new year, you want a new storyline. Not the same dribble that you've been watching all year long. Like 2014, it was all about fluke. And that shit didn't end until, what, a month ago? Like, come on. Seriously. Get over it. Like, do a new storyline. Um, so anyway, today's episode of GH, let me just say this. Nina Franco, I, I didn't really give a shit about what they were doing today. Didn't care. Dr. Obrecht was basically getting in the mind of Franco, trying to get him to doubt Nina and her claims that she didn't take the baby or whatever. So Nathan went over there or whatever and showed her the video footage from the hospital, showing her outside the baby's room, peeking at the baby. Bunch of bullshit. But I don't believe Nina took it. I believe Silas took her. Obviously. Um, it had to be Silas. Because who else got access to cut off the uh, cam the cameras at the hospital? He's a doctor that works there. So he has all type of authorization for certain rooms, of course, that regular people don't have. Nina, how the hell would she be able to get into those rooms? She don't have clearance. She's not a hospital member. She's not a staff member, a board member. She's nothing. So... She has no authorization into those rooms unless she could sneak in without being detected, but whatever. Um, so Franco went home and started searching through her bag. She caught him, of course. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do with Franco and Nina. I really don't know what they plan on doing with them. It just seems like they're just going with the flow with them. Like, you know, just putting them in whatever storyline they could put them in. Blackmailing Olivia for a room. It's like they're in the most dumbest storylines that really have nothing to do with them. But the writers are just, they, I just feel like they don't know what to do with them. And I could care less. Like, Roger Howard from Michelle Stafford, they're two great actors and actresses. But they just don't, the characters just don't fit with this show. I just feel like they just don't because they don't know what to do with them. So it's like, Okay, get rid of them. Um, so anyway, Sonny told Carly about how Morgan drugged Michael or whatever. So, you know, Carly was pissed. And Morgan and Kiki went back to Silas's place and the baby just happened to be at the apartment. So Carly stormed over. She made a beeline for Silas's apartment. It was about fucking time. I love the fact that Carly was all up in his face, all up in Morgan face, all up in Kiki face. I said, it's about fucking time. She went off on both of them. And I said, this is the Carly that we should have saw a year ago, two years ago, because her showdown with Kiki is two years overdue. 
she should have been spazzing out on her. Because had it not been for Kiki, Morgan and Michael wouldn't be in this war that they're in. You know what I mean? They wouldn't be battling each other. She was the one that got all of this, the wheels in motion, so to speak. And I'm. it's about time Carly is calling that bitch out. And it's about time she's checking Morgan. See, that's the problem with Morgan. Morgan acts like a petulant child. And that's the issue with him. See, the thing about Morgan is he wants to play a grown man's game with a child's brain. That's the issue with him. He needs to grow up. All his hairbrain schemes to get back at Michael have blown up in his face because he doesn't think. That's the problem. I mean, if you're going to plot and scheme, at least cover your damn tracks and cover them well. And he's an idiot. So Michael was at ELQ. Dante, he called Dante or whatever and gave Dante the pills and told Dante how Morgan and Kiki drugged him. Dante has grown on me like i loved his reaction today when he said our dumb ass brother i said yes your stupid ass brother morgan is a dummy morgan is so stupid i just hope that dante box his ass up and throw away the key like this kid is just totally undeniably dumb um the scene with Michael and Sabrina kissing, that was inevitable. I knew that shit was going to happen. I mean, come on. We all knew Michael and Keith, Michael and Sabrina were going to hook up. We all knew it. And I'm here for it. I love their, I, I love it. Michael and Sabrina, I've been waiting for this. I think that they are a good couple. And I think that it should definitely happen. Um, Valerie and Lulu. Lulu was just telling Sonny, all Sonny and Carly business to Valerie. But we can all tell that Car that Lulu, she is um, uncomfortable. Oh, shit. I forgot. Before I get into the rest of this, let me say a big congratulations. I forgot about this. She was one of the, the last two awards of the night last night at the daytime Emmys, Mara West. Um, I forgot. Congratulations to Mara West. She won, um, I guess, for best lead actress in a drama. For her portrayal as Ava Jerome, I just fell out when she won. I said, yes, I knew she was going to win. I said, Ava had to win that shit. Mara West, she had to win it. She has been the breakout brand new character. She's been a breakout character all these last like two years. She's been killing it on this show. As much as I sometimes hate the Ava character, I just love to hate her. You know what I mean? I just always felt like they could never get rid of Ava. Ava, I love it. Like she's she's good at playing a bad ass character like she was great on YNR as Diane Jenkins and she's even better on this show she's even more spiteful on this show so congratulations to the incomparable uh Mara West she earned her victory she really did and she just broke down in tears she could barely talk last night she was she was just breaking down in tears I said yes congratulations she earned it so big congratulations to Mara West um so anyway uh, lulu was telling valerie how you know lucy co needs a sixth member of the haunted starlets for the nurse's ball and valerie uh wanted to do it but lulu kind of felt uncomfortable about it i'm gonna tell you right now I think it's Lulu's woman's intuition that's kicking in i do have this sinking feeling valerie has an agenda because the way she was talking about Dante and comparing him and Sonny and asking if Dante is as charming as Sonny is just kind of like, why are you asking all these questions about another woman's husband? Like, I just want to know from all you women out there, if you were married and some of you probably are, um, what if your female cousin or female friend or whatever was asking you all these questions about your husband or he's spending too much time with your husband you mean to tell me you wouldn't feel uncomfortable about that or you wouldn't side eye it you know what i mean give it some side eye and think that she was up to something because i said this last week you don't leave a single woman around your husband i'm sorry especially a single attractive woman you just don't do that even if you trust your husband that don't matter and i'm pretty sure lulu trusts dante but she just don't trust this bitch and i don't blame her but something is telling me she's up to something. Why is she all infatuated with Dante? Talking about his smile and he has a cute uh, smile or a cute personality. Something she said about cute. I just felt like that was inappropriate to be saying all these things. Like all the, the half that conversation was Dante related and it was coming from Valerie. So it's like, yeah, she has an agenda. 
because you can't tell me any new character that come on the show don't have an agenda. They all do. That there's no question. They all have an agenda. I don't give a fuck. They all have an agenda. Um, and I don't trust the trick. Um, so Dante showed up at the apartment. He showed up at Silas's apartment, and Morgan came up with yet another dumbass idea. He wants to not tell Dante or anybody about baby AJ being back. I said, are you fucking stupid? Carly and Sonny, I could tell Sonny was kind of molding it over, thinking about it. Sonny better not go along with this plan. If Sonny goes along with this plan, I swear to God, I would shut this motherfucking TV off. And I'm not playing. I would shut it off. I would not watch the show because I just feel like it's so stupid. His plans so far have got him in so much trouble, and yet he wants to come up with another dumbass plan that can potentially get all of them locked back up. Sonny just got out of Pettenville. Why would you want to risk going back over some stupid shit that Morgan wants to do? Like, seriously, think. Y'all are all adults in this situation. Well, except Morgan and Kiki, of course. Because, like I said, they both have a child's brain. Hell, i seen children that's smarter than them. Um... Hell, the kid from Home Alone is smarter than them. He outsmarted two con artists. And look what happened. Two burglars. He defended himself against two burglars. And look at these two idiots coming up with these dumbass plans. Well, Morgan is the leader in this plan. But you already know Kiki is. She always played follow the leader. So, of course, Kiki will. I just feel like all of this is just dumb. Um, Am I forgetting anything? Uh, I think that's everything. So anyway, all of you have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.